All right, YouTube, today we're going to play a little bit more of the Blue Red Splash Green Delver. Um, just going to, you know, same thing I've pretty much been playing, just fine tuning. Switched to like two cards in my sideboard. I basically just cut a one card. I kind of electric three for a trot, just because. I think if we're going to facilitate the green splash, we need a second green land. I don't know if I can get away with a green land in my main deck or not, but um, I would like to be, I would like to keep resistant of wasteland, but I don't know. It, it feels kind of bad, but I feel like against, you know, decks where the green splash is good, like aggro loam, um, death and taxes, I really need the second green source in order to fight through wastelands and ports. So, it's, it's stuck between a rock and a hard place. It is part of the issue with the splash. So, but the library and grudge are super powerful. And they they've wanted, like, uh, they, a lot of times, like, this card carries me against blue decks. Uh, blue non-Delver decks carries me in the uh, mirror. And on the mirror, and uh, against combo decks as well, and the Grudge is just great against all the Stoneforge Mystic decks that are running around right now, which there's a lot of them. Stoneforge Mystic is abundant at the moment. You can't play Legacy without running into Stoneforge Mystic. All right, we got a good hand. I'm gonna go Island Ponderosa on one. Shields a little bit of what we're playing. We're going to play some Legacy today, and then I would like to, as, soon, as, as long as I feel good about my deck, want to play some, might play some Legacy Cube later. Gotta have fun. Alright, this is all pretty solid. I'm going to put the Spell Snare underneath the Delver and draw the Force. So I might just play the Delver now, and then like Delver Wasteland if we get that opportunity. Or I might just play Delver Fetch Land. Mm, sore neck already today. All right. Well, now I kind of want to go Force Pitch Ponder Wasteland, then have my Spell Snare to pitch the other Force Land Force of Will. Because I think if I waste them, like I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna have to use my Force of Will next turn. Because th them leading on Thorn makes me think they don't have Chalice of the Void. Like my Spell Snare is not really gonna do that much, so I think I'm actually gonna Force Pitch Ponder, play my Delver, flip my Delver, Wasteland them, and then next turn play Young Pyromancer with Force Blue card. Okay, nice. And then I'm just going to go fetch a mountain. Keep my red source. It looks like we're playing against like a white and colorless Eldrazi deck. I kind of just want to let this go, to just be 100% honest, like, and just counter something that kills my, that deals with the board. Well, that's kind of a tilt. But, whatever, I get to fire it off and make a token. Get that out of here. So, this is six. So the clock doesn't actually change. If they play a blocker, they block this. Six, block here, four. So I just might as well hold this bolt. They have to go like blocker plus removal spell, and if that's the case, I get to just bolt them in a turn. That's Still okay because now I'll just bolt whatever the bladder the batter skull blocks and we'll get in there for the lethal. Not gonna show that land. 
Oh, shoot. I don't get to because of the stupid. Oh, man. Oh, that was dumb. I forgot that out of the chalice. We're waking up. First match of the day. Forgot about the chalice. It's all right. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. We're not we're only on the first cup of coffee. That was done. We could have had them at one. I was like, oh man, I'll bolt my young pyromancer. Nope, there's no bolting. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. All right. Not punished. Not punished, which is nice. Hopefully everybody comes in after that. All right, so against this deck, I think we want, like, definitely want our Shatters. Um, library's probably pretty good, but might not be where we want to be. Um, on the draw. I kind of want to sideboard similarly to how I sideboard versus, like, an Eldrazi deck. Probably want my land. Want to bring in this land. I could even I could even keep the vapor snag. Probably don't want the fork bolt. Dead gone will hit like an Eldrazi or something. Lava man we probably don't need. Twenty lands is a lot, but if my opponent's like a wasteland port deck, which they could be. My opponent could just be some weird death and taxes deck. Like we didn't see a lot of their deck. What does this look like? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this. Ooh, this hand's a little dangerous. I think I'm on a mulligan because we're pretty stone cold to a chalice. We don't even have a second land. All right, this hand's pretty solid. Um, I think this is a pretty easy bulk for shipping of my... It's probably my island because I think I'm going to try to set up Sylvan Library. And, well, no, I'm going to ship my vault because, like, True Name's my pitch card. Island Ponder, and then this gets my library online. Yep. The old mulligan into Force of Will. All right, so that's nice. Ugh. I don't really want any of these. All right. Really hope they don't give me something. It doesn't give me something that days here. All right. I mean, we're gonna get the library in play. Which. You know, library's either going to set up true name or, you know, we got two. We have three true names we're looking to and a grudge. I should turn off my audio because I might want to daze something. I could also just daze like a two drop here to buy me some time. Yeah, I'm just going to daze this. Like, if my opponent pays, then they don't, the batter skull's not coming in. It just buys me some time. Yes. All right. We're just gonna. I kind of just want to pay eight so I get a fresh brainstorm. All 
It looks like a wasteland. Yeah. Or just give me more looks at Ancient Grudge. Because man, Grudge on this board would be nice. Oh, don't manatize me. Do you actually have manatize? This pause is like a little sketchy. I guess I could have played my land to prevent this. All right, so there's my Delver, but I just I don't even really want to play this Delver. I kind of just want to dig the Grudge and, or True Name. I mean, we could just say that I got to play it just to get something going on, but it's not going to matter in the face of the Batter Skull. Um, I just want to shuffle again. I could draw a force and then shuffle off next turn. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just let her know. What a cube. Yeah, we might play some cube later if I can just get all this set up to where I want it to be. Really have to dig for a grudge. Hanger back walker for one. Oh, thank you for the bits, Johnny. Hanger back walker for one. I kind of have to take care of this. Because this thing's just going to like charge up. Over time, if I, if I don't force this, I don't know what I'm forcing. You know, I can't take any damage because the like I have to I have to batter like I have to grudge this batter skull, and then this is gonna they're gonna redirect and it's gonna deal me uh, at least okay nice. Actually, so we just have it all. So put on top. Put on top. I could just pay for and keep this in my hand, which is a little sketchy, but I think it's what I'm going to do. And then before my opponent untaps, I'm going to grudge this and then grudge this. I'm in trouble with something like a, uh, um, a hangerback walker or, or not a hangerback walker, like a reality smasher or a walking blister, but like that's life. All right, doesn't look like our opponent's got anything going on. Maybe not being able to fetch anymore. Maybe putting myself in that position is pretty loose. Oh. Whenever you cast an extor spell, return target creature. Oh, gross. All right. Okay. All right, well, we got got there. <clears throat> Alright, so we're on the play now. I don't think I'm going to switch anything. The Tishar was interesting.
Sorry about this. I would like to play first, yes. Man, I'll keep this hand. This hand is pretty solid. We need a red source, but like, such is life. But we need to go turn one Delver. <laughs> Talking about my favorite thing. Now we're just going to try to ride this Delver. Blocky B. Days that. All right, flip Delver. Don't be shy. Oh, well, that's not a flip, but I will take it. Let me tell you what. Go take a nap, Phil. Phil's all drugged up. That's why I'm here this morning. Didn't I write Legacy and Legacy Cube? Yeah. On it. All right, I got to force this. So we need this old Delver. Right, that's not a it's not a flip, but it's a pretty good one. <clears throat> Stoneforge Mystic's not good. <clears throat> In the batter skull. All right. Flip. Not great. All right, so I need a land to check this batter skull. Or, okay, well. I think my opponent should vial it in now. Okay, so we're gonna draw. I wanna draw library and flooded strand. But I want flooded strand more and I wanna be able to cast your name. So we're gonna go like this, days. I don't really care about the Pyromancer. My opponent's going to get a Batter Skull shot in. But then we can play True Name to hold down the fort. Pyromancer doesn't really do anything on this board. It's like a weird White Eldrazi deck. My opponent's going to get to clock me. Maybe I should have blocked, held off one point of damage because I had the library. Because my attack doesn't really do anything. All right, let's cast our TNN before we do anything. All right, now we'll get in. We can daze like a reality smasher. Council's judgment, that's bad. What is this daze gonna do for me? All right, we're gonna let this go. All right, now I'm in a little bit of trouble. So I go to not go to eight. Jeez. 
Gosh, this grudge is hot. I think I'm also just going to snap this Lotus Petal off, too. It'll make days better. Like, I, I, I could hit, like a, like, a Thorn of Amethyst or something like that. That's fine. I'd like to hit a land so I can go Pyromancer plus Library. Give me a land. All right, well, let's stabilize the board. Gross. I'm not going to trade. My Pyromancer is worth way more than this Stoneforge Mystic. Tishar. So whenever you cast a Hexstorm spell, return target card with a converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Let's find a way to kill that thing. Gross. <sighs> It is very interesting, for sure. Am I attacking? I don't think trading two for three is good. Like, now we're blocking, because I have to hope my opponent kind of bricks here. It doesn't have anything to do with this to shard, though they can't really get anything good back. All right, so now we're blocking. Do nothing. So I guess I by blocking, I give them the opportunity to get the Stoneforge Mystic back. Oh, God. Inuzawa's Jit. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I mean, I blo the block gave them a Jit, basically. Okay, so I can play Pyromancer, dead this, and then just kind of try to keep going here. But I have to take, I go to two to do that. Alternatively, I can just draw the dead gone. I could put back Flooded Strand Ponder, play Pyromancer, daze it, pick up my Vault, play Vault, dead gone. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So put on top, put on top, play this. Daze it. Pay my one. Get in play. Get rid of that and make a token. I just lost like a bit of value, but. Oh, they returned it? It's a legend? God, that's nice. All right. I just didn't even know it was a legend. I didn't even really pay attention to that. All right, there's the JIT. I think, I'm, I, think I want to just trade. Because he gets to kill these anyways. I think getting this off the board is nice. I don't want to take the damage. And now if I'm on an empty board, I can be maybe a little more aggressive with my library. I don't know. I'm in, I'm in a lot of trouble. Like, I got to find my grudge. Look, it looks like I was a little aggressive. All right. 
put on the bottom. I kind of want to shuffle. Get a shuffle in. Before I ponder. Whatever. Cowards can't block warriors. Alright, attack for one. Play and fetch. Morning, Drewski ninety. All right, I mean that's that's something. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we just put him to the test here. Double Sylvan is nice. You state facts. Yes. Put on top. Put on top. Oh my god, this Tashar is so annoying. Because they're going to go up to two cards. I have to like bolt the Tashar before he attacks with it. In order to survive, right? Because because then it can't attack. So beginning of combat, bolt it. He returns it. Okay. Then I'm drawing pretty thin. If I find another removal spell, like if I if I find like a vapor snag, I can put this back into their hand and actually just like kill them. I think I'm just gonna put these two on top and shuffle. An attack for one. Because I can't even force the Tashar because of this thorn. My opponent might mark this, yeah, because it puts him down to uh um to dead to two volts. I don't even really know what I can hit, because like ancient grudge doesn't even save me now because my life total is too low. Definitely in, a, in, a, in quite a bit of trouble. That's not good. Use some of my visibility. Yes. Now I'm just dead. It's such a shock to be nice. But the problem is, I can't waste their Caracas, and then I can't do anything the next turn. I still lose. I still lose here regardless. Gross.
How does this work? This bridge. Creature's power greater than the number of cards in your hand you can attack. So you go to three. But you can just shrink and then well I guess you can you can just shrink and attack for one. Right, creatures, creatures with power. So if he goes up to three cards, it's gonna attack. Yeah, I'm just dead. Blah. That was annoying. But I thought his deck's kind of cool. You know? What a beating. It's a good way to start the stream. Getting the old L. Yeah, it's like if I wasteland the Caracas, then they just cast Tashar. And then I only get one more look at cards that can help get me out of the situation. Now, like, by shuffling, there's not a lot of cards that get me out of the situation. Or at least I get to look at three new cards that get me out of the situation. But, like, I need Lightning Bolt. I need... I need to be able to force the Tashar. That turn that I got cute and like, I probably was too cute with like, when I had, when I felt like I was on the front foot, when I was on the front foot, I like decided to grudge that pedal because I thought I could constrict their mana because they have higher ones that will turn on my days. That was probably just too aggressive of me. All right, we will keep this hand. Depending on what my opponent does, I might brainstorm again turn, but not a fan of opponent's deck. Their deck's cool. And I'm sure that it does something unique. You know? I'm not sure what. Like I'm not sure like why they would play it. Besides maybe they just like it. Tundra. All right, I am going to brainstorm because I might find a wasteland. If my opponent counters the brainstorm, then I'll just daze it. Gross, we didn't find anything we're looking for. All right, uh, Vapor Sack's not good against the Tundra deck. We don't need this other land. I'm going to fetch a mountain in my upkeep. Okay. I could fetch an island. But, like, if I find Pyromancer, I do want to be able to cast it. Like, I'm likely going to go fetch mountain. But I don't want to get back to basics. Back to basics. Back to basics did. I don't know what the plural of that word back. I don't know what like the na the the verb of that is. I could daze this. I do kind of want to cash my days in when I can. That might have been too aggressive. So now I'm gonna fetch a blue a blue red land. And again, I'm gonna brainstorm looking for like a wasteland would be a good draw. Jeez. <clears throat> I could just hold and ponder next turn. I go put this. Days underneath this trop and play my island. Yeah, now I can like spell pierce or spell snare or counterbalance or stoneforge mystic. Or I can't spell pierce or stoneforge mystic, but it is your island your tech version of this? Oh, it's it's a deck list that I got from Eric Virgo. All 
right, this is a good old shuffle. All right, we 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 are pretty reactive, which is not good. I'll let the first accumulated knowledge go. There's an argument for spell piercing that I think just because like I can cash my soft counters in, but I mean I have a spell snare to hit the second next one. I'm in a lot of trouble this game. I'm just too reactive. Like I'm not putting enough pressure on my opponent. There's what are they doing here? There's jamming a Jace. <clears throat> this seems wild. Which means they gotta have another one, right? Alright. Now I kind of wish I would have pierced it. Oh, are you shitting me? All right. Well, here's this is the hill we fight on. All right. I mean, having a hard counter magic while we have this true name is going to do a lot of points. Maybe my opponent just doesn't have anything, and that's why they just jam the Jays. It still seems wild to jam there. It's just, just unnecessarily aggressive. Like, Delver decks thrive when you're, be, you're put into positions where you have to jam, and my opponent just didn't have to jam there. They were at 17 life with nothing on the board. Just like... Pass the turn and make your land drops. I'm going to have to make some more coffee. And also check on Phil. Phil's all hopped up on drugs. So that's why I'm home today. We have to be worried about back to basics in game two because we showed them a trop. So it's probably still worth it for them to keep that card in. So my opponent shuffled to their ponder. Island, not a good draw. Most time I don't play around back to basics. What is this? Right. Spell snare. You do not get two cards. God, I hope my opponent fights over this. I'm actually going to play my land because I could get somewhere near hard. Wow. I could get up to like hard cast Force of Will. And it's like my opponent let me like convert, you know, a days when I shouldn't have. Uh, they let me convert a spell pierce, like Force of Fill. <laughs> All right, let me attack first. All right, I'm just going to draw the spell snare and leave the bolt on top. Because this can hit like a Snapcaster Mage or a Counterbalance. Uh oh. Can also hit a counter spell, so this is just gonna be like force pitch force. I thought about leaving the land on top, but like I I, I think I wanted this bolt. Hardcast force next turn. Cause now like this fetch land is dead. My opponent force of willing is dead. That's that that punishes me for what I wanted to do. So maybe I should have just been a little more patient. Now I'm gonna hold this land. My opponent's at four, so we have to just hope that we get their bombs covered. 
No, I mean I could be in like much a much better spot, but All right. I should play my land just in case they have like Fluster Storm. I'm trying to figure out a good time to do this. Okay, so now. We're just going to go three bolts in the upkeep. I wanted to find just something to bait a little more out, so let's go bolt you. Give myself an island, or a volcanic island. So now they can't force. Okay. All right. Bolt you. I enjoy that statement. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gone for it when I had the chance to. You know, like maybe it's a little loose waiting. Yeah, I got like... That was an interesting judge call. My opponent had like a, I was at like my first ever Grand Prix. There's no Winter Orb. No, we don't have Stifles. We don't have a Stifle plan. I love Stifle. I love me a Winter Orb with a Stifle. But at my, my first ever Grand Prix, um, my opponent, my blue, white, red player had a Johnny that was ready to ultimate. And I just like main phase bolted them. And they were like resolves, and I was like redirect to a Johnny. And they're like they called a judge on me because they didn't think that's how that works. And they, my opponent was like, they were like they're just you know whatever they're messing with me or something like that. And they ended up like something weird ended up happening where a cryptic command, like my opponent announced cryptic command, like in between their judge call. And then they told the judge they announced cryptic command. So it was like they gave them prior, like the judge ruled that my opponent before switching phases casted a cryptic command when they regained priority again. So they cast the cryptic, like bounce one of my lands, drew a card. Then I, on my second main phase, I like blood moon them. And it just, it just worked out just the absolute worst way possible that it could have for my opponent. And I don't know, like, this was like four or five years ago, I think. My first Grand Prix was 2013. I'm on a mulligan. Like, I don't have a cantrip. Like, we're a little land short. It's 2013. Like, this is a hand. Like, his hand's decent. But, like, this is kind of a mulligan already. These don't really do anything until they're killing our opponent. This hand's better because it's got lands. That was my home hands. That was a fun. That was a fun trip. Man. Yes, it was. Twelve hours with three with five big guys was not great. Okay, if we can just not do that anymore, that would be great. I'm gonna play this. Um, maybe I shouldn't have played my fetch land because I'm probably just jamming my tuning nemesis next turn anyways. Yeah, that was probably loose. I should have probably just played Islander Valk because like 
I'm just gonna jam. Take it easy, Johnny. Yeah, this was stupid. I shouldn't have played my flooded strength, so I'm just jamming. I just spewed like a little bit of cantrip value. I kind of just want to hard cast days this. I really don't want to interact with this Monastery Mentor when it's on the stack or when it's in play. But I guess even I can just bolt it and then daze whatever my opponent does. Like my opponent would have to have double force of will to get me here. It's kind of like I'm just trying to draw Sylvan Library like a professional right now. All right, there's another one of the boys, another fisherman. They could have another mentor, which would make sense. This could be just a Supreme Verdict. I don't really agree with a lot of my opponent's plays here. I'm going to play this Delver, I think, because... So here's the, here's the question. Do we just jam? Double true name and just, like, tell my opponent they need... The problem is we can't even, like, necessarily beat a Terminus because if they have Terminus Counterspell, they get rid of both our true names and we have no threat. So I'm just going to play this Delver. Not going to play. The the true name's going to be like once the dust settles kind of a card. <clears throat> I think that was a juicy enough verdict where tilt. Where if they had the verdict, they would have cast it. I guess I should have played my land to be able to hard cast Force of Will this turn. I always forget to do that. The two things that I mess up the most. <clears throat> God, I kind of just want to like two turn clock them. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to. It's a little tempting. But this this true name is hard to answer. As I say that, they answer it. I'm going to let this one go. We've got another. And then I'm just going to jam another true name. And I'm going to hold this spell snare. I'm going to hold my land because I can't hard cast force anyways. Pitch back to basics. So they deal with this true name, we're probably dead. Like we're, we're probably gonna need library to get the claws out of this game. Um, they target themselves. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna attack my opponent. We'll put a card on top. Yeah, we're we're in quite a bit of trouble now. Not gonna mess around with this Jace. But it's not doing anything. It just smells like a Supreme Verdict. Okay. And I guess I'm going to just hard cast this days. Because I don't want to pick a land up in case I hit Force of Will. Surprised they didn't do anything with their Jace before they did that. 
I don't necessarily agree with how my opponents play these two games. Do this first. All right, that's pretty nice. It's just like an, if my opponent gets too frisky, it's just like an end of turn snap bolt. Get ya. I think I'm. I, I don't think I'm gonna go for it in a turn, unless my opponent taps very low. Because if I untap, I can beat Spell Pierce. I have to make sure to fetch my upkeep, though. Okay, so this just has to be like a council's judgment. They could also plow their Snapcaster. All right. I'm going to go get a sweatshirt. I'll be right back. Grab some car. Oh, no, nope. match started. All right, I would like to play first, and I will keep this hand. Just going to hold up a Spell Pierce or a Spell Snare. Or a Spell Pierce. We're not going to Spell Snare or anything. All right, don't stifle me, bro. If they counter this, I can daze to pick my land back up. Yikes. Your boy's dead as a doorknob. Oh, I should I didn't even think about it. I was like, I'm never gonna cast my true names now. My Delva doesn't flip. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna play this weekend. I just zoned out and didn't set my Delva up, but like, you know, such is life. Is this? All right, I'm dead. I have two true names on top. Like, this pyromancer is going to just eat me alive. So, against Grixis Delver. Uh,
So I'd like to cut one of these. Uh, where is it? One of these and then all of these. And I want to bring in Luster Storm, Pyroblast. I think I was going to try the Snapcaster Mage today. Because we can just get like a mana advantage. I'm going to give this, I'm gonna give the Snapcaster Mage a whirl today. It might not be that great, but we're, we can afford to go up on our curve a little bit. Because we're, we're playing the basic land Delver deck. I will keep my hand. It's it's not great, but it's decent. Like we've got, you know, we have we have lands, so we can set up shop. I'm gonna play this scalding turn. Give myself the option to blast something or dead on something on turn one and fetching a mountain. All right, that's not good. What do we got? Do we got Adele? What do we got? We got a Pyromancer coming. Okay, that's we got that covered. Yeah, we. It, you want to be able to deal with the creatures. I kind of want to untap. Because then I can go like Valk Dead Gone and then Pyroblast and not get dazed if they go Force Will plus Days. Right. So my land heavy hand flooded out, which like I was a little susceptible to do. We can't get aggressive because we have to be able to deal with True Name Nemesis. The old TNN, they chose not to shuffle. So opponent has three good cards. I'm going to fetch. Just because this might get blasted. Okay, so now... I'm just going to play an island and pass the turn. And then draw the true name. And then fetch and probably play the true name. <clears throat> Though I might not do that because I'm just playing into a blast here. So actually I'm just going to play this. They bolt this. Well, now I kind of want to blast this just to start to get on the board, and it makes a token. Yeah, I'm going to blast this. Okay. Okay. I'd like to draw. I'd like to draw days. Days would be like the best draw in my deck. Sure. Wasteland would be a good draw. That's not a great draw. Attack for one, then play true name. Probably gonna get two cards out of my opponent's hand. Okay, they pitch Thought Scour. 
So they're on like the turbo angler version of the deck. Which is they're casting Gurmag right now. Okay. Jeez. This is not good. I'm not going to block. All right, well, now I'm going to play. We're going to get on that full retail force of will plan. These are the last fetchables in my deck. This has been unfortunate. Yeah, we've just like flooded out. I kept a hand that was susceptible to being to flooding out. So it's tough to worry about too much about it, but but you know, it's just kind of the cost of doing business. Yeah. Yeah, we just didn't really play magic there, which kind of sucked. But that happens sometimes. That happens. My hand was Pyroblast, Dead Gone, Force, and Three Lands. I drew four more lands. Yeah. I think you can keep that hand. But that's just the cost of doing business. Last time I played this guy, he was playing Depths. So I do like I, I, I do feel like I need more reps against Depths. It's kind of a hard deck to play against. Ball pit. Maybe this is like an aggro loan deck. So I play my Delver and he just has dark depths, he just kills me. So I think I'm just going to go, and hopefully I don't get Wastelanded. And maybe if this was my line, I should have forced the Dryad Art, the Green Sun Zenith. All right, I need to find a land. Now these are lands. Blah. It's been a tough league for the home team. Yeah. Now he just makes his token. I can hit Mer I can hit Vapor Snag exactly. Gross. Okay. So I want this and this, and I've been cutting Orc Bolt, Lava Man, one true name. Let me see what else I've been cutting. One Pyromancer. And one cluster storm. All right. 
Might be a quick league for the home team. God. All right. Just going to keep. And probably just put um, put his volcanic on the bottom. My opponent kept seven, and a deck that's got a pile of discard spells. If I if I remember correctly. A lot of mana early, but not really doing a lot with it. What am I looking for? I should have played my Wasteland. Gosh darn it. If I played Wasteland, I could have like wasted a... So they can just go like land Hex Mage now, and I have to be able to force the Hex Mage. So I guess I also have Vapor Snag, so like, you know, it's kind of whatever. That's all right. I'm going to go fetch an island at a turn and brainstorm. I guess I should have done a response. I would have been able to take that thing out. Spell Pierce doesn't do anything. and We probably can get rid of the Spell Snare at this point. I kind of just want to fetch an island. Yeah, I want to fetch an island. I don't have any red cards. Like, a red card here would be nice. All right, so that's not bad. Play this. Because now this can get a mountain. <clears throat> Dead. It's gonna grow. So now I'm looking for. A, I guess I should have done that in response again because I could have hit a dead gone and killed this thing. Might as well brainstorm because I'm gonna do it no matter what. I think I've got to get rid of this surgical at this point. Fetch my upkeep, get a mountain, then play a Stelver. There's an Ponder now. I think this is a shuffle. <sighs> it's been a been kind of a rough one for the home team here. Just kind of floundering, not really doing a lot. All right, let me go get an island. Maybe I'm playing against like Aggro Loam. Yeah, this is definitely like an Aggro Loam deck with. I'm gonna brainstorm right now because I could hit. All right, buddy, you're gonna get a wasteland target. I have to sideboard differently for the next game. All right, now we're in a little bit of business. Probably should have stacked that differently because I don't think I'm casting the. Um, I don't think I'm casting the whatever it is next turn. The brainstorm, so I might as well just draw the spell pierce or the spell snare. 
Where should I import? Is the green something for three? Get ye old knight of the reliquary, which is going to be a big problem. Knight of the reliquary is a big boy. So I might have to brainstorm now to find a way to deal with this knight. All right, this is not any ways to deal with night, but I can like vapor snag this and then counter it on the way down and play Delver. And then flip to Dead Gone. He has no lands that can do anything, so I could just like start, I could like wasteland his court. He currently can't do anything with his Delver. Oh, I need a third blue source. Kind of want to wasteland this port, but that's probably too aggressive. Yeah. Play my phone. My phone can get in for some damage here. So get in. I'm going to play my wasteland now. Keep that going on. Okay, I don't I don't have any the snapcast mages in my deck, so I don't have to worry about this. All right, well that's a problem. Oh, Ramanap Excavator. Oh, that, that's going to turn the knight on. I don't think I'm hitting a relevant spell either off of this. So I guess I spell snare or vapor snag this right now. And then I can just dead gone this. Then I'm just like super in trouble to marry. But I've got another wasteland. I have to figure out how to like start doing stuff. And I know my top card's a dead draw. But I guess this is holding this off. Oh man, it was your last draw, last card or another kind of rough decay? Oh, Cabal Pit. Still doesn't give you, you don't have threshold yet. Okay. 
I don't really want to bounce this Knight of the Reliquary until I can deal with it on the way down. So, I'm just going to play my land out. I'm in a tough spot, for sure. Well, now this thing is threshold. So I guess I had to bounce that in response. Oh, man, I'm in trouble. I just need another true name nemesis. I just need something, like, sticky. A way to combat. A way to be able to attack and block. Because this is just going to get Cabal pitted for the rest of the game. Corner. That's not good. Because now we can ghost quarter my red source. I guess now I'm just going to end a turn bounce this night because I'm not going to be able to. Because like he's just going to ghost quarter my red source. I'm not going to be able to cast it. I feel like, I don't know. I could just daze this, or I could just wasteland this port to try to set him back. I don't know, I'm in a tough, I'm in a really tough spot. I need to find like running true names. Running true name nemesis can keep me in it. But, But we're definitely, life's definitely getting a little rough. Marari's Guile, okay. Library would be nice. True name, Bolt. Pyromancer doesn't do anything because of the uh, Cabal Pit. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out this morning I'm on a different time slot than normal. But yeah, you just had it, you know, which sometimes they just have it. I do not have a lot of time here, though. That does not help my case either. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, let's jump into another league. That was a rough one. <laughs> 